So now we're going to start stripping the action down. And to do this, we have to take the, the uh, safety catch out first. So now I'm going to clean the action and get all that cleaned over, cleaned off. Take the rust out of here, we'll take the firing pins out um, and take the top lever out. We're going to also check the why this gun, particular gun, the opening and closing doesn't feel particularly nice and try and work out why that is. But I think suspicion is something to do with the knuckle or what we call the discs or the joint pins. Um, and there's a few little techniques we can do just to try and sort of... Uh, to, to resolve that. Uh, there's a couple of hard hard bearing marks here on this particular gun. Firing pins on these are a different length, so the top bow firing pin is ever so slightly longer than the bottom. So we're going to give this a clean over. Um, I'm just going to ease this area here because I think this is binding on the uh, on the underside of the uh, in the fore end, which could be caused on the stickiness. So I'm going to clean all this over first, get the rust out, wash it all through, so it's all starting fresh. So we just get bits of rust underneath here, underneath the top lever where the people's thumb. Sometimes people, uh, the hands have a certain amount of acid within the hands, um, and with that acid, uh, we get some customers who've got really acidic fingers and um, they'll make the guns rust constantly just because their hands have so much acid on them. Other people don't. Um, so we'll just give this a clean over and start to get the rust off.
So just gently polishing the area where this under here is a hard bearing, just making the, and it's just ripped a little bit, the action has. So just give it a little gentle polish. Try and take the high, just to reduce that high spot. Right now we're going to sort of wash all this through, and I'll probably have to we then use an airline to dry it all out. Just going to go through and clean over each piece individually. Now I'm going to start putting the stuff back into the action. Again, there's just a fractional rust on the side of the safety 